Hello everyone, it's your girl Mons and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we are going to be comparing the recently released Air Jordan 1 High in the taxi colorway and we are going to be taking a look at the grade school sizing and we're going to look at the men's sizing. Now in terms of comparisons, we are going to be looking at the price point, the packaging, the color, if there are any differences in color, and the overall quality of the materials. So if this is the type of content that you like, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Now before getting started on this video, I wanted to quickly highlight the shirt that I'm wearing for today. I got this from a friend who attended the event, but this is the JDI Day 2022 shirt. It's in a dry fit material, so it's super, super comfortable to wear, but hopefully I'll be able to attend an event like this with Nike. I'm manifesting it and seeing it here right now, so you know, hopefully some big things will come in the future. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on pricing. So for the grade school pair, which is this one right here, I was able to snag an early pair since I had family that were in Manila at the time and they were able to pick a pair up for me at the Jordan Manila store. So shout out to them for this pair. And for retail, they were able to pick it up for 5,895 Philippine pesos. And that converts to around a little over $100, which if you think about it, is actually pretty cheap. I wanna say here in the US, I've gotten grade school pairs that easily is at least like 120 to 140 dollars so pretty good deal on that one now for the immense sizing which is this guy right here i was able to pick one up off finish line online and they were retailing for 180 dollars so that's already an 80 dollar difference which is pretty crazy when it comes to the same size and the discrepancy between like grade school and men's so that's pretty crazy all right, so now let's talk about packaging. So it's funny because when I posted my early release pair of the grade school sizing, I got some comments on my reel asking, how come I got the black and red box and not the yellow one? So I had to inform them that unfortunately the grade school sizing did not come in the yellow box. So like I mentioned, grade school came in its classic black and red box, you know, nothing different. Now, when I got the men's pair, of course, as people mentioned, it comes in the yellow and black box. I mean, it's packaging, I just put it away in my closet, but you know, sometimes it's always nice to get something different. So, and for size reference, I do wear a size six and a half men's slash grade school. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the color and to see if there's a color difference at all. So for the men's pair, I have here on my left hand and then on my right hand, I have the grade school sizing. Now, right off the bat, you don't really see a color difference. And if you had one or the other, you probably wouldn't tell if there was any difference at all but since i have both of them i can see that the men's pair is a little deeper if not richer in color just a tad bit you can see it's a little more yellow orange like a darker type of color versus the grade school so i would say that that's definitely the only real difference i see in terms of the color and last but not least let's go ahead and go through the quality on materials i'm gonna go ahead and start with the grade school pair now i'm gonna have it zoom in so that you can kind of see the quality on here there we go. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to start with the side of the shoe here on the inner panel. Everything for the most part around the shoe is very smooth, very clean. There aren't really any glue marks or stitching issues. I really think it's a really beautifully done pair for a grade school pair. Now, you can see there isn't a lot of texture here on the grade school pair. So that's a difference that you'll definitely see when we take a look at the men's pair in just a moment. But overall, a very beautiful shoe. Now, if we were to compare it to the men's, now this is where you'll see the quality difference for sure. So let me wait for that to focus. So immediately you can see the texture here on the white panel. You can see it's a little bit more textured and it has definitely more of a buttery soft feel to them. You can also see that type of texture here on the toe box compared to the grade school one. It's definitely pretty prominent uh, compared to the grade school sizing. But I want to say that if anything, the men's pair definitely is like a little bit taller also. If we were to compare the collars here, you could see that this one is just a tad bit thicker than the grade school sizing. But otherwise, I think for the most part, they're both really well done pairs very nicely made but i would say that the quality on the leather on the men's pair definitely outshines the one on the grade school pair now with all those points in mind i'm really curious to know what you all think in the comments let me know if you'd prefer to pay the higher price for better quality and materials or if you would rather pay the cheaper price if you were to ask me i would definitely pay the higher price just to get 
better quality of material and the only reason being is because I'm a collector and I plan to have my pairs for a long time and wear them over the years so of course I want to have a pair that will last through that time but you know everyone's story is different and everyone collects based on different things so I'm really curious to know what you all think so that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for tuning in with me and hanging out. I hope you found this informative and if you enjoyed it just as much as I did, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. So until the next video, this is your girl Mon signing off. Bye!